Welcome to my basic mechanical engineering playlist. Today I am going to show you the components and classification of heat engine. So let's see first of all the outlines of the session. Components of heat engine. Then heat engine cycle with diagram. Then classification of heat engine. Then according to the place of combustion. And at last, according to the type of converting machine. So let's see one by one briefly. So let's start from the first components of heat engine. Working substance. Here you can see the water is a working substance. Then heat source. Converting machine. It can be the expander or it can be the turbine. Then heat sink. Here it is the atmosphere. Then pump or compressor to increase the pressure. Now let's see all the components one by one briefly. So let's start from the first working substance. It is a medium which receives heat from the heat source and transmits heat to the engine to do work and rejects some heat to the heat sink. So you can say when a gas or it can be a mixture of gases or it can be a vapor is operating in an engine it is known as working substance. Now next heat source. It is the high temperature heat reservoir here you can see from which heat is supplied to working fluid. Example furnace, combustion chamber etc. Now next converting machine. It can be expander or it can be turbine. Here you can see the turbine. Here you can see the machine. It converts heat energy into mechanical work. Here you can see. Where working fluid does work. Example, steam turbine, IC engine, etc. Next, heat sink. It is a low temperature heat reservoir. Where Heat is rejected by the working fluid. Here the atmosphere is the heat sink. Next example is the condenser. Next pump or compressor. It is used to increase pressure of working fluid. Here you can see. Next components of heat engine cycle. Already we have discussed. These are the five different components of the heat engine cycle. So let's draw the diagram of the heat engine cycle. So let's say it is a boiler that is considered as a heat source. Now you know that in the boiler the steam is produced and then it is sent to the turbine. Then it is passed through the condenser. Here the heat is transferred with the help of the cooling water. Here the important point is steam is converted into the condensed water with the help of the condenser. Then the pressure of this condensed water is increased with the help of the pump. And this pressurized condensed water is sent again into the boiler. So this is the block diagram of the heat engine cycle. And here you can see the animation of the heat engine cycle. Here this is the turbine and this one is the pump. This one is a boiler where heat is supplied. And here heat is rejected with the help of the condenser. Now the classification of heat engine. So basically it is classified according to the place of combustion and according to the type of converting machine. Now according to the place of combustion. It is classified as external combustion engine and internal combustion engine. And according to the type of converting machine, it is classified as reciprocating engine, rotary engine and jet engine. So let's see one by one. In external combustion engine, combustion of fuel takes place outside engine cylinder. Example, steam turbine. Here you can see combustion of the fuel takes place outside of the engine cylinder. Next, in internal combustion engine, 
combustion of fuel takes place inside the engine cylinder here you can see example is the petrol engine now next reciprocating engine piston reciprocates inside engine cylinder so here if the piston is reciprocate then it is simply called as the reciprocating engine example petrol engine next in case of rotary engine blades rotate when working fluid strikes on rotor example steam turbine now in case of jet engine working fluid is discharged in the form of jet example rocket engine so now here you can see these three different type of the heat engine first one is the reciprocating where piston reciprocates then rotary engine here you can see the blades rotate and third one working fluid is discharged in the form of jet that's why it is called as the jet engine write your valuable feedback in the comment box for motivating me to make more videos thanks my dear friends for watching this video